By the end of this video, you'll know exact strategies to use to get restaurants as clients and how to use Go High Level to 10x the restaurant sales. This way, you won't have to stress about waking up to a bunch of angry messages from clients upset about why their sales haven't gone up. You won't have to fear every day that they'll leave you. These are the same strategies I've used over the past three years to make my restaurants more profitable to a point where we grew from originally four restaurants to now eight restaurants. Hi, I'm Beyond. CEO of Extendly. In running a successful pizza restaurant chain for the past three years, I can tell you there's a simple formula to get more sales. But there's one huge issue. Restaurant owners know they need to increase sales, but they're so busy running their restaurants that they don't have the time to figure out how. That's where you, as an agency owner, steps right in. You might be thinking, how am I supposed to magically get them more sales? I don't even know how to get restaurant clients myself. Don't worry, I've got you covered. The most common mistake I see a lot of high-level agencies make when selling to restaurants, or for that matter, any business, is overwhelming them about every single feature that high-level has in. Instead, talk to them about these three core features that you can help any restaurant create more sales for their operations. Let's dive into exactly what those three features are. First one is review and reputation management. Automate the reviews and reputation for your clients so that their ratings on Google, Yelp, and other their social medias grows and they're able to bring more customers back to the restaurant. Number two is automating missed call text back for them. Automate any calls that are coming in to their businesses and if they're being missed, send out an automatic text message back to them and that'll allow them to capture missed orders, catering orders, and any other potential customer orders that they may be calling in for and turn them into sales via their online ordering platforms. And number three is database reactivation. Using database reactivation, you're able to take your existing customer list from that restaurant and invite them to revisit you again. That could be things like inviting them with a coupon code, $10 off your next pizza, 20% off of this order. Now taking these three core automations and just throwing them into a restaurant or any other business for that matter won't automatically 10x their sales. However, if you use them and apply them to the core operations of that business, that will make a big difference. Let me tell you a story about exactly how we used these features in my own restaurants and how they increased our sales. The first automation we used was review and reputation management. Before applying the review and reputation management, we were manually asking for reviews. There was inconsistency. Sometimes we'd ask and we'd forget to ask for reviews. And then we had to manually reply to each one of those reviews. In fact, we were paying a gentleman $200 per store to just respond to each one of those reviews. Instead, we used the review and reputation management automation in there, and now we were consistent consistently asking for reviews without fail. And for that reason, we got more five-star reviews, more customers that actually enjoyed and had a good experience at our places, went on to the online space and left us reviews on our Google platform. The second automation we used in our business was missed call text back. This was one key feature that really helped our business not only grow the sales and increase revenue overall, but also reduce expenses. I remember the time when we first got into the restaurants, the previous owner, mentioned to me that if you just fix one problem and make sure every single one of the phone call is answered, you'll increase your sales automatically. The reason that was a problem was because they didn't have enough team members to be able to answer the call and that wouldn't make sense to increase labor costs to have additional people there. So instead, what we did was added in the missed call text back option. Every time we would miss a call, no problem, text message would fire back off, inviting them to order online instead. And throughout that period, what we saw was our online orders increased, the number of phone orders decreased, and we also had a consistent upsell model built into the online ordering platform, which means the ticket size also increased along with that. And doing so, we increased our sales just using the missed call text back. Remember, applying these features to the core operations of the business solves those problems, and that's how you grow the sales there. The third automation is database reactivation. Normally, restaurants don't have a way to communicate with their own customers. By giving them database reactivation feature, you're allowing
allowing them to add in an important automation that lets them send out messages, whether it's to send out coupons, wish them a happy birthday, or invite them for a big event they may be doing at their place. Prior to us adding database reactivation into our businesses, the only way we had to communicate with them was some customers who provided us their emails. And that wasn't enough. What we did was we collected all of our customer information, phone numbers that we had in the database, imported it into high level, and from there, built a simple automation that invited them to get 25% off of any pizza they would order. Now, we were brand new to doing this at that time. We sent it off to the entire list across four different stores. We literally had lines going out the stores to a point where we said we're never doing this again, at least not sending everyone a message on that same day. So from there, we've gotten smarter about this. Now we send out a partial list on day one and day two and we drip it off over time. And we don't have to deal with that problem anymore where we have lines out the door and customers are waiting to be served. Which you would think it's a pretty good problem to have, but you'd never want to ruin your customer's experience. Let me go ahead and show you exactly how these automations look for our restaurant. What we're looking at is a review request automation. It's very simple. All it does is sends out a text message asking, hey, Pete, Pizza lover, we hope you enjoyed our fusion flavor craft pizzas. Do we deliver a five-star experience? Let us know with a yes or a no. Based on their response, if they say yes, this other automation fires off and it's asking them to leave us a review. The automation simply says, that's awesome. How about a five-star rating? Let's tell the world how much you loved our pizzas. And then a tripling fires off along with it. If they don't respond immediately or leave us a review, a couple days later, another reminder message will go out asking them to leave us a review. And now if they say no, another automation fires off. Here, we're empathizing with the customer. The automation simply says, oh no, we're sorry to hear that. Please tell us what went wrong. We want to improve your experience. Utilizing the empathetic language in our text message allow us to mitigate the possibility of them leaving a negative review on social media channels. Instead, they usually end up just sending us a text message back explaining the situation and now we're able to reach out to them and improve their experience there. Now, let's go ahead and talk about missed call text back. Again, fairly simple. It sends out a message when we recognize that the call has been missed, we send out a text message saying, sorry, missed your call. If you're calling to place an order, visit our website online to order your favorite pizzas fully customized to your taste. And then we wait a few seconds and send off a second text message that it says, by the way, you can order online as well. And here's the link. Now we're pushing our customers to order online, allowing us to add more revenue through upsells. And most importantly, always deliver a correct order instead of getting the orders wrong just because someone took it incorrectly over the phone. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the very first three-step automation that caused an entire line around the building. As you can see, it's very simple. And the message, all it says is on these dates, you'll get 25% off when you order online. Use this code and it expires at 9 p.m. on a particular date. And that's it. That is all the message said. And then we actually sent out a second message to give them the order online link as well. Now, I want to point one thing out in this particular campaign to show you why it was so successful. This message has urgency involved in it. You literally only have a two day window in order to take advantage. I suggest you try this out with your business as well. And you'll notice that messages with urgency do bring in great results. There we have it, folks. Now you know the best way to sell high level to turn restaurants into clients and how to get them results that can 10x their sales. Running these campaigns, you can easily make your SaaS agency profitable, make more money for your restaurant clients so that everyone's happy. Just make sure to follow the tips carefully so you can set up the campaigns the right way. If you don't, you might miss out on many sales opportunities. And by choosing Extendly, you don't have to spend days setting all this up for your clients. We have you covered. Remember, our small business snapshot has all of these automations pre-built in there and ready to go. We'll train you and guide you through every step, make it easy to get started with Hileable. If you'd like to check out that snapshot, just click the link below in the description and you'll be able to see it right there. And if you like the videos we're sharing, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button so you can be notified when we come out with new videos. We'll see you again on the next one. Take care.